morning everybody this is uh, Mike with Big Air Photo and Film. Hey this morning I'm going to kind of go over maybe three different ways that uh, my photography helps me with my PTSD and everyday living and just kind of keeping me on track. Alright everyone it's, uh, it's actually a good day for therapy today and I will talk to everyone soon. Alright everybody? Alright peace out. Hey everyone, and hey, um, hey, welcome to my home, and um, thanks for joining me this morning. We got rained out there at the end, but um, I kind of thought I would just kind of give you a little, kind of a little summary of what I'm doing here. Okay, what I'm doing here is that uh, I'm uh, showing that uh, three different ways that photography can help with my PTSD, so, and I put three together here, and I just kind of, kind of want to just to, you know, in my own words, I guess, you know, what it does for me. And number one, I guess the first thing for me is that, you know. It's, it's the camera itself, you know. People don't always think about that, but it's kind of the beginning of my grounding technique for myself. Um, there's something very tangible. I, I personally use a Fuji X-T3. I love it because uh, not only is it a kick-ass camera, it's got, you know, it's very tangible. It's, it's kind of a retro style. It's got, you know, big dials, knobs. And for me, that's great for my, um, I don't know, kind of like people use a worry stone or the spinners and things like that. It's kind of grounding for me in that perspective that, you know, it gives me something to do. I mean, I, my first thing I do is I grab my camera, I'll set, I'll zero everything out. And I just kind of, you know, get a feeling for it. Just kind of attach myself to, to the camera, you know, to, um, to maybe hopefully capture the moment or, or, you know, use it as a tool to maybe express, you know, a, a situation that, that I might want to have something to say and, and, I don't know another way to, uh, you know, say it, but then through just, you know, taking a picture because I'm not always super great at articulating in words, but, uh, I think that photography has helped me bridge that gap as far as, um, you know, using more visual imagery and for me too, as well, it kind of keeps me, you know, able to monitor my own personal, um, you know, growth and stuff with my PTSD as well as my photography as well. So. That's number one. Number one is my camera. It's my grounding technique. It's my tool to uh, to create what what I feel and what I you know, and gives me the ability to to convey maybe you know uh, something I might be feeling inside, or just you know convey something of of you know something of great beauty and and you know maybe a dr dramatic moment. But uh, yeah, this is number one. And here you go, everybody. And let me take you to number two. Hey, before I let you guys know, uh, I took a kind of a cool time lapse this morning. We got some little thunder and lightning. So uh, I'm going to put it here at the end. Um, please check it out there. And uh, hey, everyone, please subscribe. And uh, please just uh, continue to follow. And, and please support. Please support all veteran artists if you, you know. I, I really do appreciate it. And I really appreciate all the support that I get locally from everyone here. Because it really does make a big, huge difference. And it really does help. You know, if nothing else, it, it helps me. It helps me move forward in my own life. You know, so I'm very grateful for that. All right, everyone, I've been talking long enough. All right, here's number two. All right, boom. All right, everybody, number two. All right, number two is the actual sh going out and taking the shot, taking the capture, getting out there. For me, this is a big one. It's about me making commitments to myself and holding myself to them. So uh, it's been really great to just say, hey, I'm gonna get to round four and, and actually do it. And uh, you know, it, it does empower me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. And, and here's another great thing is that, you know, when you're out taking a capture too, you are, you are, you're present to the moment. You, uh, you're mindful, I guess. You, mindful awareness so uh i enjoy that moment of just where you know if my whole other day is just hectic and crazy i know this for these few moments 
I know I'm, I'm connected to where I'm at and I'm, you know, where I'm supposed to be for that one moment. You know, I truly believe that. That's what, you know, the shooting part is for me. It's, it's, I'm not going to say it's a spiritual moment or whatever, but, but it can be, it can be a, a very powerful moment. It can be a game changer in my therapy. It can change the way I think about my day just in, in two seconds. I think that, uh, the, the nice thing about going out and shooting is that it's just by that act alone, it's kind of changing the way I think about things. And that's changing the way I feel about things. So, you know, it kind of goes back to that cognitive Albert Ellis, you know, theory that changed the way you think to change the way you feel. But I think it really does. I think that has a lot to do with my mood and my mind. It's just, uh, you know, when I'm out shooting, I'm in the zone. I, I feel like I'm connected to that moment. Uh, you know, that gives me a lot of peace. And, you know, it also gives me a sense of place. It's like I feel like that, you know, I'm where I'm supposed to be for once. And what I'm doing is I'm supposed to be doing that. So for me, it's been pretty empowering and it's really given me a lot of insight into my therapy as well because a lot of times I can look back at some of the images and say, huh, you know, I wasn't doing very well at that moment. And I can kind of see it in these pictures. I can see these patterns that a lot of times I can look through and I can see these little, you know, little things building up. So it gives me a chance to look back, maybe look at those, see, hey, that might have been a stuck point and then maybe address it or maybe look at it or maybe, you know, revisit it some other time. But it kind of gives me that other awareness, like a a secondary set of eyes to to how I'm doing and things like that so that's been really wonderful so that has been a huge thing like I said you're out in nature exercising and I try to always get that little adventure going you know hopefully set something up cool so you know I get a little exercise out of the deal and hopefully it's entertaining as well all right everybody here comes number three all right Hey everyone, that brings us to number three. Number three to me is, you know, it's, it's the social end of it all, is the aspect of interacting with other people. I really enjoyed this aspect of, um, you know, my photography because it gave me a chance to kind of um, interact at my, my terms, kind of, um, with Instagram, Facebook, you know, whatever the, the media platform may be at the time. It, it's given me a chance to kind of show my work too, and I feel like it's kind of given me a voice as well. It kind of, um, you know, a lot of times what I'm feeling and stuff like that comes across in my, my images. And, uh, you know, it's been great in, on the social media aspect. And social media has been great. It's given me a chance to meet a lot of awesome other photographers, both veterans and non-veterans. You know, it's such a great sense of community. And uh, I would have never had that if I didn't, you know, if I didn't gravitate towards photography as um, a form of therapy. And it's been really great, too, as far as um, being able to... to um, you know, to, to meet all these different people, to get involved with other veterans organizations that, uh, that you know, that have components similar to to helping veterans to, to PTSD and, and to uh, helping veterans move forward. So, I mean, it's been great. It's like hooked me up with a whole network of people and, and friends that I never knew that I, that I had or never thought that I would ever have, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, photography's been great. It's given me a chance to uh, show my work, you know, locally and throughout the world for the most part um I've, I've had i have permanent displays which has been awesome and i've sold you know a, a bunch of like prints so i mean it's so amazing i would never thought i'd be able to do that at all i never thought that i honestly thought that i'd be stuck in a, you know one of the va programs probably for you know indefinite amount of times because i see a lot of those guys that did when i was going through the programs they they end up you know going one program to the next to the next and next thing you know it's 30 years um for me i, I think a lot of it was just you know having to empower myself saying that enough's enough and you know and I, I don't know what brought me to photography but it whatever it did and it just opened opened my world up and you know give me a, give me opportunities where I had none and give me hope where I didn't think I had any but I, I guess that's most enough but you guys understand the point that that you know it did give me such a big huge social social um, opening in my life where you know like I said before I mean I didn't think I was gonna have one at all so awesomeness and um hey everyone i hope everyone's doing well and i hope that uh i hope that you know somebody watching this will kind of you know see that maybe this is something that they could try or maybe it's not photography maybe it's painting maybe it's some other kind of art i just know that that the art part works i don't know if it just makes makes me think differently when i'm doing it so maybe you know back to that you know change the way you think change the way you feel but whatever it is it just seems to work 
All right, everyone. I hope that everyone's doing well. I hope that uh, this gives you a little insight to who I am and you know why I do what I do. But um, I really do appreciate it, everyone, and I do appreciate all the opportunities. And I want to do a big shout out to Warrior Sailing. Right on, you guys. They kick butt, everybody. They are uh, an organization that works with uh, d uh, disabled veterans as well as veterans with PTSD. They work, you know, they do ad adaptations for boats to make people, you know, be able to get access to. Uh, to, to sailing, I mean that you know a lot of people didn't probably think they would have access to that, but they made all these accommodations and they made it accessible for everyone, and they do a lot of competition. It's pretty cool. All right, everyone, have a great night, and I will talk to everyone soon. Hope everyone's doing well. All right, everybody, peace out.